in Genesis chapter 25. And Abraham adds and takes a wife, and her name is Keturah. And she bears to him Zimram, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan has begotten Sheba and Dedan. And the sons of Dedan were Asherim, and Letushim, and Lumim. And the sons of Midian are Ephah, and Epher, and Enoch, and Abidah, and Eldah. All these are sons of Keturah. And Abraham gives all that he has to Isaac. And to the sons of his concubines whom Abraham has, Abraham has given gifts and sends them away from his son Isaac, and his being yet alive, eastward to the east country. And these are the days of the years of the life of Abraham which he lived, one hundred and seventy-five years. And Abraham expires and dies in a good old age, aged and satisfied, and is gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael bear him at the cave of Machpelah, at the field of Ephron, son of Zoar the Hittite, which is before Mamre, the field which Abraham bought from the sons of Heth. There Abraham has been buried, and his wife Sarah. And it comes to pass after the death of Abraham that God blesses his son Isaac. And Isaac dwells by the well of the living one, my beholder. And these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, has borne to Abraham. And these are the names of the sons of Ishmael, by their names, according to their births. Firstborn of Ishmael, Nebajoth, and Keter, and Abdil, and Mibsam, and Mishma, and Duma, and Masa, Hadar, and Tima, Jetur, Nafish, and Kadama. These are sons of Ishmael, and these are their names by their villages and by their towers, twelve princes according to their peoples. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, one hundred and thirty-seven years, and he expires and dies and is gathered to his people. And they dwell from Havilah to Shur, which is before Egypt, and you're going toward Ashur. In the presence of all his brothers has he fallen. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham has begotten Isaac, and Isaac is a son of forty years, and taking Rebekah, daughter of Bethuel the Aramean, from Padan Aram, sister of Laban the Aramean, to him for a wife. And Isaac makes plea to Yahweh before his wife, for she is barren. And Yahweh accepts his plea, and his wife Rebekah conceives, and the children struggle together within her. And she says, If it is right, why am I thus? And she goes to seek Yahweh. And Yahweh says to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples from your bowels are parted. And the one people is stronger than the other people, and the older serves the younger. And her days to bear are fulfilled, and behold, twins are in her womb. And the first comes out all red as in hairy robe, and they call his name Esau. And afterward his brother has come out, and his hand is taking hold on Esau's heel. And one calls his name Jacob. And Isaac is a son of sixty years in her bearing them. And the youths grew. And Esau is a man acquainted with hunting, a man of the field. And Jacob is a plain man, inhabiting tents. And Isaac loves Esau, for his game is in his mouth. And Rebekah is loving Jacob. And Jacob boils stew, and Esau comes in from the field, and he's weary. And Esau says to Jacob, Please, let me eat some of this red, red thing, for I am weary. Therefore one has called his name Edom. And Jacob says, Sell your birthright to me today. And Esau says, Behold, I am going to die. And what is this to me, a birthright? And Jacob says, Swear to me today. And he swears to him, and sells his birthright to Jacob. And Jacob has given bread and stew of lentils to Esau. And he eats, and drinks, and rises, and goes. And Esau despises the birthright.